up guys? A bunch of you have been writing me and requesting some easy DIY tutorials that are kind of out of the box. So today we're going to be making a really simple project that takes about 30 minutes to build and doesn't require too many fancy tools. Best part, this project is an actual excuse to crack open a cold brew and celebrate when you are done because now you'll have a place to put your beer. Today we'll be making DIY wooden hexagon coasters. Hexagon coasters made of wood? Hexagonal coasters? Today we'll be making things that you can put your drink down on so that your significant other doesn't complain that you're ruining the table. Let's get started. You can find the full list of materials used for this project by clicking on the blog link listed below in the bio. Your first step is to cut out hexagonal shapes. I found my shapes on Google, resized them on my computer to about four inches wide, printed them, and then rough cut them out. They don't have to be perfect. Once cut, tape your shapes to the wood. Again, they don't have to be perfect, but try to make them as straight as possible. These will be used as guidelines for your cuts. Next, begin to cut your board into smaller parts by lining up the saw blade with the lines on your hexagons. This will make one even side to use as a guide for later. All of my cuts ended up being 30 degrees. You may have to flip your saw a few times to the opposite marking in order to get all of your smaller pieces cut. Don't worry about cutting out your hexagons just yet, we'll be doing that in the next step. As always, make sure to use appropriate safety gear when operating your saw. Once your smaller pieces are cut out, use the miter saw at the same angle as your previous cuts to begin cutting out your hexagon. Make sure to use the lines from the templates as guides. If your pieces are really small, use a clamp to hold down your coasters while you cut in order to avoid any accidents. Once cut, remove any excess paper and tape from your coasters. Next, sand your pieces down. I worked my way from 80 to 220 grit for a nice smooth finish. When you're happy with your sanding, begin to stain your coasters. Once the stain has dried, you can then apply some poly. I used three coats of my favorite brand to make sure that they were completely waterproof. and want to see more please make sure to subscribe to my channel also be sure to follow me on social media at DIY Huntress on Instagram Twitter Pinterest and Facebook are there any others you can find me at DIY Huntress on most social media platforms make sure to visit my blog for more creative DIY ideas at DIYHuntress.com and please keep tagging me in your projects I love seeing what you guys are making in the meantime happy DIYing and cheers